So if we're going to talk to a MySQL database, we're going to have to do some stuff first to get our MySQL database ready. And uh, in XAMPP, there's something called phpMyAdmin, and you can get to it by going localhost XAMPP. And then you'll see under Tools, phpMyAdmin. And now you're in the phpMyAdmin database. Um, if you didn't set a password already, then you may have to do some stuff to get here. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is go to the Users tab. And uh, you'll notice that by default, I have a couple additional ones, but by default you have uh, some any users with no password set. And then there's also some root um, users with no password set. So let's start by fixing that. So the first thing we're going to do is select all three of these any users and scroll down a little bit to where it says remove selected users and click go. So I'm going to remove all three of those any users. And that's necessary if you want to connect to MySQL over the command line um, because by default those things are going to pop up and get in your way later on. So get rid of those. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to set a password for our root account so that nobody else can get into our system. So the first one is root at 127.0.0.1 and that's localhost and uh, what I'm going to do is I don't actually need to check that box. I'm going to click on edit privileges and then go to change password and I'm going to type a reasonably secure password and then retype it as well. And then click go so that's the first one. And then I'm going to do that for the second one as well. So there's the second one. And then the third one. And go. And I'm going to hit reload. And so now I can't actually connect because I've just uh, changed the password on the account that I was trying to connect to. And now I have to fix the configuration for phpMyAdmin. So where does that live? Well, I'm going to go to the C XAMPP folder and then under PHP my admin you'll see config.include.php so I'm going to edit this with notepad and you'll see right here is the password and uh, I want you to go ahead and fill your password in I'm going to blank mine out and save that file. Now unfortunately this is saved in clear text and there's really no way to get around that but uh, but that's how it is. And then also change allow no password to false and save that. And now let's go ahead and try to get back into phpMyAdmin, retry to connect and boom I'm in. So that should be all you need to do. Um, now in the users table what I like to do is I like to create special accounts to access different databases. And so I'm going to be downloading and installing a dictionary database called WordNet. And then I want to create a user that just has read access to that database so that when I create my PHP page that accesses the database it's going to need to know the password of the account to access the database. And in case anybody gets a hold of that in clear text, I want to make it so that the only thing that they can do if they get access to that password is read data out of the WordNet database. So I'm going to create a new user and I'll call it use text field, we'll call it uh, um, WordNet. And then the host will be any host. Um, I could restrict it to just localhost, in which case only my web server or any other um, user that had access to my machine would be able to talk directly to the database, but I want to allow access over the internet, so I'm going to select any host. And then for the password, 
um, I'm going to just use word net and the retype is word net and it's not a great password but once again the account is going to have limited access and I'm going to leave all of these privileges unchecked so it's not going to have any privileges to anything so far so now you'll see I have a WordNet account with um, a password set and basically no privileges. So in the next video we'll go ahead and we'll download and install the WordNet database.